Matapos ang dalawang magkasunod na pagkatalo ng ating Pinoy na pambato sa featherweight division na si Mark Magnifico Magsayo kontra sa Mexican ng Depeated na si Ray Vargas. By Magsayo, Magsayo. So eloquently used. Oh, big right hand by Vargas. Look at all it means when you're dealing with his right hand. The left hand. Mark Magsayo. And oh, big right hand. His career is scheduled for 12. Vargas throwing 80 plus punches more. Watch out by Matsayo. Ray Vargas landing the right. Oh, big right hand. It's to the chest. Landed for Vargas. Matsayo for excessive. Go, let him go. In the head. Matsayo telling Vargas keep it. Manny Pacquiao told Matsayo the key is moving. Body by Matsayo. Oh, down go. There's a right to the body by Matsayo. Matsayo knows. Oh, big left. at Brandon Pegroa. And 11 left here in the eighth. And beautiful, unbelievable combination of lethal left by Max Sainz. Siyam na buwan lamang ang nakalipas. Ay umakit na ito sa super featherweight division upang sagupain ang isa sa mga tigasing pambato ng Amerika na si Isaac Abilar para sa isang 8-round schedule super featherweight bout. Bago ang laban ay may kartada ang Amerikano na labing pitong panalo, sampu dito ay natapos bio knockout at may pitong talo. Sa labang ito ay hangad ni Magnifico na makapagtala ng isang impresibong panalo upang makabalik sa world rankings at muling maging isang world champion. Kaya naman heto na mga brad, sabay-sabay nating panoorin kung papaano bro na pinatulog ni Magsayo ang kanyang kalaban sa loob lamang ng What are you gonna do? So, in order to stay active he looked for a fight and he got one here tonight How long will this last? I don't know And that's a right hand from Magsayo immediately As Canelitos hit trouble Magsayo coming out attacking looking like the former champ that he is Abilar is very tough though and he's awkward if he finds his legs here early could get himself into this fight, but Maxayo has started very fast. New boxing fans familiar with Maxayo, very good stance as, he as you t take a look. He's got good fundamentals, very quick feet, gets in and out fast, has fast hands. And not here to get made by the round. Maxayo in his last fight, when he lost to Brandon Figueroa, a unanimous decision. Lost his last two. He lost to Ray Vargas, a split decision, and Brandon Figueroa, a unanimous decision. He's now moving up to 130 pounds. And there's nothing left at 126. He's 130 at Ray Vargas. Next year, he wants to fight for a title. So he did not want to sit around and only fight once this year. That's why an opportunity and spot came up on this shelf. said, yes, check the ego. Not a made away. The fourth fight of the night just to get the work. What a concept. Fighters fighting, Rich. That's it. I talked to Marvin Simonio about it. I mean, what are you guys doing in this fight? He's going, well, we're, we're kind of testing. We're testing, you know, the new, the new weight class. And let's see how it works and how, how it helps him or diminishes him. Because if he were to wait for the new Amazon Prime and PBC deal, which is a rumor to be in March, It'd be a year without fighting. And you mentioned he's in his athletic prime. You want to be active. We know that uh, Maxayo has uh, world-class skills. I mean, he beat Gary Russell. You know, so that, I mean, that's, that's not an easy thing to do. He also beat the man who's in the main event tonight, Regal Hermosillo, back in 2020. In a tougher than expected fight. <laughs> so the decision, that was a good one. a telecast of Maxaya very early in his career and there was all of that next Manny Pacquiao nonsense that was uh, going on. Yeah. Any Filipino with calves is the next Manny Pacquiao and Maxaya has big calves. It's a different fight. But they both acknowledge the whole club. Do we need a referee now? <laughs> no, uh, the fact that Ivan Guillermo. Mix 
up in that combination. He took command of the fight in the very fifth, first 15 seconds, it seemed like. Cut off an awkward fighter. He also lost to Steve Fulton back in 2019, a six-round KO in Edinburgh. That's Marvin Simodio. Oh, this was scheduled for 10. How many rounds do you really expect? Well, Marvin gave me the professional answer. He's like, you know, well, we, we know this guy's tough. This is why we took this guy, because he's going to give us rounds. But we know that he's going to give us rounds. But we have some things to work on, things that we've adjusted in the gym at Wild Card. We want to see. And it's a great point for Marvin. You can only spar so much that you could burn out a fighter in that way, too. Well, I, th I think those comments are true. What uh, what Marvin said, not necessarily just coach speak. I mean, he said, you know, a fighter trains, trains, trains. And if there's nothing at the end that's a reward, what are you, what are you really doing? We can wait to in the gym for some reason. We've been around guys, we'll say, you know that they have a fight team, all of a sudden just switches up. The lady wants him to knock him out, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin does speak English, so he understood. Got the leprechaun from Max Ayo inside. Shout out to everybody watching us on CBNPromotions.com. It's all five stars. At the top of the album will be Adrian Corona against Idaho Benitez. Saludos a todos. Estamos mirando a México, esperando la pelea de Idaho. I'm gonna hit a little bit. You see his toughness here. He's, yes. he's strong and a little bit awkward. Canelito, he's got the solar system on his back. I think. Oh, uppercut from Oxido. He does boast an excellent uppercut. Yes, he does. Nice guy. First time I ever met him, find him in the bag. I'm really looking forward to calling your fight on the big big fan here because he's always in an action packed fight. levels between a championship fighter and a good, solid fighter. Take a look at some of the action from the previous round, and there's a good, clean punch. Exayo coming in with two right leads. He's got enough experience now, enough fights, enough fights against top-notch opposition that he basically knows the tricks in the ring. Yeah. Great yesterday because he woke up in the morning, the day of the weigh-in, and he knew he didn't have to make weight, you know? Tremendous combination. There must have been five punches there. And like Zayel knocks down Avalon, just shakes his head, tries to crack his neck. Maybe Janelle watching in Corona, looking at Mark Mike Zayel, trying to get a knockout here in the third. Alcazar de Arcees is ready. Lito, Mawas Calientes, he's tough though. He's been down this road before. Mike Zayel just flew in there throwing punches. He's attacking. Lito needs a move. Not eat punches like he is right now. Oh, oh, from Oxyle. That kind of Lito answers with the left. This dude is tough. He does not want to trade with Mark Moxayo. Oh, a huge KO! Moxayo has knocked down Canelito on a huge uppercut. He Wow! As you take a look at uh, Avelar on the canvas, 
is he just got cold cocked by that shot. Just a one big tremendous shot. Wow, immediately called off. The doctors are there. Two doctors are ringside. They're telling Panelita, who's trying to get up. And they're calling the paramedics immediately. They're going to get the stretcher for him. El vencedor por knockout, your winner, by way of KO, Mark Magnifico. Mark.